So what's amazing, and you've been uh, outspoken about this, which I think is so important. I think er, the more people talk about anything that, it, that people are scared to talk about, it's good for all of us. But um, I had no idea the health issues that you've gone through. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's enormous. There's been, you, I, I tried to remember it, but <laughs> how, how, what's gone on? It's a lot. Um, I've had about, I want to say, six surgeries over the past couple years, but I want to say maybe 16 surgeries all together throughout my life. I just turned 28. And um, I've had two kidney transplants. I have endometriosis, a whole slew of things. And uh, about two and a half years ago, I can't even do the math right anymore because time is like fleeting. But um, I went into rejection and I had to go on dialysis and while you were working on Modern Family? While I was working on Modern Family, I had gout. What is gout? It's, it's like when a, a, a thing like crystallizes, when the, the, your simile crystallizes. Oh, that's, and in there's your pain. Bones and, yes, and it, it's, it's extremely it's painful. One of the most, I've been through a lot of pain. One of the most painful things I've ever had. So you're going to work on one of the most hilarious shows on television. Thank you. And, and being funny and yet you're going through this pain every single day. And then I read it, it, that you were going through major depression because of the sickness, which totally makes sense that you actually thought about taking your own life. Yeah. Um, first of all, like how, and I know you have a lot of support, you have people in your life, but because when people hear that with what an amazing life you have, what an amazing job you have, you're going to laugh every single day, and yet still when you go home, you get into that dark place. What would you say to anybody who, like, what got you out of that? Um, it ended up being myself that got me out of that. Um, I had to do it on my own. I told myself I had to do it on my own. Um, you know, I have an amazing job, an amazing support system, but um, after, at the time I was 26, after 26, 27 years of just always being in sick and being in chronic pain every single day and you don't know when you're gonna have the next good day. Um, it's really, really hard and I would write letters in my head to loved ones of why I did it and my reasoning behind it, how it's nobody's fault. And I didn't wanna write it down on paper because I didn't want anybody to find it. Uh, how close how did you get? I like, I mean, were you really close to doing that? I was very, 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 very close. Yeah. And then, so you got yourself out of it. But what was the what was the one thing that said, "I am not going to do this"? Um, I finally said it out loud to someone, and that someone I'd I'd been saying, "I need to go to see a therapist. I think I need to go see a therapist again." And uh, they're like, "No, no, no. Why would you see one? You could just talk to me." And when I said it out loud, they're like, oh, you need to see a therapist. And that's when I was like, okay, I, I don't think you're gonna help me. I, I think I need to really do this on my own and really do like even like more digging and soul searching. And um, just saying it out loud helped immensely. Because mm -hmm. uh, I kept it to myself for months and months at a time. And I just, uh, and saying no it out one, loud really no one in your, No one around you saw that you were in that kind of, you were that close to taking your life? No, I, um, I, I just, I didn't want anybody to know that I was that close. Yeah. So if they knew, they would try and stop persuade it. me. Yeah. Different. So, so the thing you would say to anybody feeling like that at all is just say it out loud, talk to somebody. Yeah. I mean, every person, uh, with their anxiety or depression, or if you have suicidal thoughts, um, Every individual is different. So I wouldn't just rely on everything that I say. I'm just sharing my story. Right. But, um, but I think talking to someone and saying it out loud really, really makes it sound almost ridiculous and it puts everything into perspective. You're amazing. I'm so, I, to, to, and that's the thing, you watch somebody on television and you think they, they have it all and, and what you're going through and what you had to keep going through in the struggle um, while still making everybody happy and laugh. Um, that's, I admire you talking about it. Thank I really you do. so much. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back.